Hi friends, sir in this video I will cover very important example which is the most commonly used for our real time requirement right. Suppose I have a string array is there or list of string objects is there. I want to use that uh, string array or I want to use that list of string objects. At runtime, whenever we are using that array maybe a chance of null pointer exception if any string is a null are you getting suppose my array may contain null values or my array may contain empty string then while using those if you are not going to handle properly maybe a chance of null pointer exception it's a very common requirement right okay sir now what i want to do is before using that array can you please remove null values or can you please remove any empty string? This is about my requirement, right? So remove null values, remove empty values, then the remaining list happily you can use so that we can prevent a null pointer exception. Are you getting right? So for this requirement, to remove null values and empty string, how you can use predicate concept? That example I will discuss with the executable program. Just observe, what is our program, sir? Predicate example to remove null values i want to remove null values and the empty string from the given list okay assume that this is my input array sir sir string array names is equal to have you observed there are multiple values are there in this string array sir have you observed this is the durga one string but second one empty string are you getting just a double quotes open and close even no space also just a double quotes open and close empty string is there Next, the third one, null is there. Null, null. Next, the fourth, uh, Ravi is there. Next, uh, again, again, empty string is available. And then, sir, valid string Shiva, again, null is available, right? If I start using this array without the proper null values checking, there may be a chance of null pointer exception. That's why. So, I want to remove null values and the empty string from this array. Are you getting from this array? I want to remove null values and empty string from this array. And then happily you can use confidently so that we can prevent null pointer exception. Everyone can able to understand, right? For this requirement to remove null values and empty string, how you can use predicate? That example I want to discuss. Okay, sir, clear with our requirement, right? Okay, now have a look once, sir. Sir, I want to write a predicate. That predicate is always going to take a string as argument. Are you getting? It's always going to take string as argument. Under that predicate will check whether that string is empty string or null value. If it is empty or it is a null value, returns, uh, sir, have you observed right? Returns false. Are you getting returns false? So my string should not be null. And my string length should not be zero. So, sir, if it is null, if its length is zero, I can't use it. That's why write a predicate to check whether the string is valid string or not, which is not null, which is not empty string. For that, how you can write a predicate. Observe that carefully, sir. Sir, I'm taking predicate, predicate. This predicate is always going to take string as the argument. Are you getting predicate? He's always going to take string as the argument, right? Peak. Next, uh, if I can give string as input, if I can give string, string as input, what condition we have to check, sir? Sir, very simple. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Should not be null. Are you getting right? Yes, sir. Should not be null. This is the first condition, sir. So it should not be null. It should not be null. Okay. If it is not null, if it is not null, and uh, its length should not be zero because it is not null and it is not empty string. Remember, sir, now yes a dot, yes a dot, length should not be equal to zero. Yeah, beautiful, sir, predicate. This predicate is always going to take string as the argument and the input and it's going to check it should not be null 
and its length should not be zero so means uh, if it is not null and if it is not empty string then only our predicate returns are true otherwise the predicate returns false everyone can able to understand right now how i can use this predicate just observe that sir i'm taking array list of string l is equal to assume that i'm creating one more array list array list of string l is equal to new array list of string sir are getting array list of string l is equal to new array list of string okay sir why i'm taking this one if it is not uh, sir null if it is not uh, empty string such a type of valid strings i want to use this array list i want to add to this array list then happily in the remaining code i will use this array list this is about my requirement right now sir here while here do you know for each string for each string yes yes in names are you getting for every string yes in this names so in this array for every string if if sir p dot test of yes okay sir i'm calling predicate predicate test method i'm calling predicate test method test method if for this predicate test method returns true returns true means it is not null and it is not empty string clear right sir now it is a valid string yet this valid string for this list are you getting l dot yard of yes sir that's all are you getting this cycle will be repeated for every string present in this array are you getting for every string present in this array this uh, this logic is going to be applicable right now say stem dot out dot print ln okay sir the valid string the list of the list of valid strings the list of valid strings is okay just a print uh, system dot out dot print ln of l sir that's all a beautiful example sir to use a predicate to check null values and to check empty strings are you getting it's a very common requirement man if you are not taking this much care yet run time null pointer exception may be a chance to get are you able to understand right so we can use a predicate sir to check whether the given string is null or not or whether the given length of the string is zero or not like they so that if its length is if it is length is zero or it is the null then don't consider that sir for such a type of conditional check happily we can use predicate a bit meaningful example sir compulsory you require to practice okay let me execute this code have a look once have a look once here in our example i'm using array list right in our example i'm using array list that's why import java dot util dot array list import java dot util dot function dot predicate predicate also i'm using right sir this is about my string array string array sir one element second element third element fourth Five and then six and then seven means uh, seven elements are available in my input array. Okay, this is the predicate I'm writing, sir. So yes, sir, should not be null and its length should not be zero, sir. Now I'm taking a real list of strings. Same example, right? For each string, yes, in names. If this predicate returns true, can you please add? Can you please add to that? Next, the list of valid names are SOP of list. Okay. Now let me execute this code, sir. Have a look once. have a look once here java c test dot java next uh, java test have you observed the list of valid names are durga ravi shiva munde so but originally originally sir empty strings are there null values are there empty string is there null values are there but all those things by default got removed now my list contain only three elements sir confidently happily you can use uh, this uh, this uh, list uh, we never going to get null pointer exceptions i hope everyone can able to understand how to use a predicate to check whether the given string is null or not empty or not for that purpose how to use predicate it's a very common requirements are compulsory you require to practice clear for all of you right that's all